Could today be the day? Is this the one? What am I talking about? Keep watching. Yes, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day as ever. The summary video review to the full written review that's linked below each and every video. If you go back to that website, you'll get a lot more information that got a ukulele has written over the years. Also down there are some links to do what these people have done. Big, big thank yous to these people because they've donated using those links to help keep this site going because I am not a commercial site who gets paid to do reviews. And the only reason I can be here every week buying you things like this one for review is thanks to the kindness of these people. If you want to help out and keep this site going, you can do the same with those links below the video and on the website. And as I always say, you can help me out by subscribing to the channel as well. That would be also very much appreciated. If you ring the bell symbol, you'll get notified of new stuff that comes along. Right, why that introduction? Well, this is a brand that are incredibly well known. Everybody knows this name, mainly because they're in all the big high street, big box music stores. Uh, and I've reviewed them several times before. They've never done it for me. I've always been really, really let down by them. People saw the sneak peek pics I put up of this one and said, well, he's now going to trash this one. That's really unfair. I don't review in that way. I look at everything on the basis of it's a brand new day. And who knows, around the corner, this brand may get something over to me that I go, do you know what? That's not too bad. Let's see if today is that day. The brand is Luna. And this is the Luna Uke Henna dragon uh it's a concert scale ukulele also available in tenor and that uke henna dragon will become obvious when we get into looking at it but it is um something that luna have kind of made a name for themselves with not all of their instruments by any means but this is a highly decorated by way of laser etching ukulele now the subjectivity and the objectivity is going to be strong in this review because, and I always point these out in my reviews when I'm being subjective, my personal view, and when I'm being objective, which is a physical problem with the instrument, which is not just my personal view, it's just wrong. Subjectively, I don't like laser etching, and this has got lots of it. Let's have a look. Laser etching in the form of this, uh, like a, a, a henna tattoo design with flowers and dragons on it. Um, I don't like it. I think it looks scruffy and cheap. Some people do, that's fine, and that's not the be all and end all here, but I'll come on to something a little bit more about that etching in a moment. And what's it etched into? Well, the headlines for the ukulele on the product listing say that this is mahogany, and they don't go to any great lengths to tell you that this is laminate. But they also don't go to any great lengths to tell you that this isn't actually mahogany either. If you drill down into their product specs, this is called Eastern Mahogany, and that is um, NATO wood from the Mora tree. It's not from the mahogany tree at all. So it's laminate, it's pretty basic. The back's kind of pretty with a bit of shimmer to it. But like I say with a lot of Lunas, um, their woods are actually pretty low grade. And the top, once you get past that etching, is nowhere near as nice as the sort of stripes on the side and, and the back. It's not very nice. Um, no, it's not for me. It looks quite cheap, actually. The bridge is made of pow ferro. It's a tie bar style. Um, very, very pale. And if you get up close to it, really scruffy in the finishing. It looks like bare wood. It needs sanding. It's just, it's really rough. Sitting in that is a bone straight topped saddle. More about that bridge in a moment, but back onto the decor, because the only decor is the etching. Um, I've said before with Luna that I really don't like the etching that goes under the bridge because that's going to make for a weak bridge joint. Thankfully, there is no etching under the bridge here. Why do I say that? Well, on my uh, in, on a folder on my computer, lots of my readers sent me pictures of Lunas that have failed where the bridge has split away from the top. And that is a real problem with QC. And I'm talking, I've got dozens of these pictures. And if you've got one, feel free to send it to me and I will add it to my folder. Um, but it's not just those with etching that are split. I think they use quite cheap laminate. I've seen whole tops delaminate and peel off on Lunas. Um, something's not right with the materials. 
Otherwise though, this is finished in a satin. It's, um, it's very simple. It's very simple wood. I don't like the etching, but I get that that's subjective. Um, I also don't like those. It's got a pickup system in it. Side mounted pickup with a huge control panel in it, which I don't like, too much to go wrong. Big ugly thing in the side of the box. At least this runs on two cell batteries rather than a nine volta, uh, which will help with weight. But the batteries don't work on this one out of the box, they're dead, which is, which is mad. And I also don't like that, that's where they've put the jack socket. There's a tail block here, that's the strongest part of this instrument. I have seen instruments have these rip out where the cable's been pulled or snagged, and it rips a hole in the side of the instrument. This is thin wood here, why put it there? Don't like that. All right, okay, that's subjective as well largely, although that's objective. The top really really thick laminate and looking inside yeah it is thick it's pretty tidy in there to, though to be fair um notch lining simple braces not much wrong with it inside um bar all that wiring but it is a very very thick top um mm, okay i don't like that um but you may the neck is more eastern mahogany which is mahogany uh, obvious joint in the heel a uh, much better hidden joint up at the headstock. Thankfully, it's satin. It's actually got some quite nice grain to it, to be fair. I quite like that. What I don't like is it very much like Luna. Tapers down to a really broom handle, chunky neck. They list the neck as 35. I measure it at 34. 34 mil at the nut, really skinny. 27 from G2A. More about that nut and the setup in a moment. Finished in more power ferro wood for the fingerboard. If you look closely or at the macro pictures I put up, that's also in need of a sanding. It's got sort of little tufts of wood on the top of it. It's quite rough. Fitted with 19 frets with 14 to the body. The position markers are interesting. Um, moon phase things in pearl at the 3rd, 5th, 7th, 10th and 12th. Although the moon phases in real life don't run in that order. They kind of run in reverse to that, so that's wrong. <laughs> they need to go the other way. Um, and that's paired with side dots. Um, yeah, this is too narrow for me. It's edge bound, as you can see. Oh, sorry, it's edge bound, as you can see, and the fret ends are just about sharp. So that's not good either. So we've got sharp fret ends with an edge bound neck and a scruffy face and a skinny nut. And that nut is really quite chunky. If you look up at the top at the sides of it, it really raises up. I find it really sharp here on the first position cords on the fretting hand. It digs into the finger and leaves a mark. So that they need dressing back. The setup, far too high at the 12th, above three mil and too high at the nut. So this needs taking down. And then I look at the saddle. There isn't a lot of saddle above the bridge. So I've not got much saddle to take down there. So I think before the strings ground out on the bridge itself. So I don't know how much more I could take it down. A couple of observations on that. Bear in mind, these don't tend to be sold in specialist ukulele stores that would weed that out. This arrived from a box shipper to me. They hadn't even opened the Luna box. It was sellotaped up. So nobody has seen this since it left the factory. I don't think I can take the action down on this. Which then starts me thinking, well, is there something more serious wrong with it? Like, is the neck misset, which I think it might be. Now, what I started looking at was, and I'm probably not going to be able to show you this, and it might be an optical illusion, but I think the neck is very slightly bent this way. It's bowing up. A bit of concave in a neck is fine on a stringed instrument. In fact, it's a good thing if your action is right. And the action is too high here, and what's happening, I think, is this is bowing up and that's raising the strings, and it can't go down any further because the bridge can't go down much further. And bear in mind, there's an under, under saddle pickup in there as well. Something's wrong there. We'll see how that affects the play. Right, skinny nut, well, things are mounting up, aren't they? Headstock, I am not usually, I'm, well, the jury's out with slot heads on concerts for me. I like them on tenors and baritones. They can look too big on concerts. It does look too big here, mainly because it's chunky front to back. The Luna logo is laser etched in the face. It's otherwise quite tidy. The tuners are unbranded open gears. They're kind of cheap, but you know what? They work all right. They're not too bad. And the strings are Aquila Super Nargut's, and it comes with the usual 
functional only dust cover lunar bag. Okay, so I mentioned that they have some, I don't like misleading product descriptions on things like the woods, calling this mahogany when it's laminate NATO wood, not mahogany. I don't like. They also are a bit misleading with the price. If you go on the Lunar website, these are listed at $269. That's 216 UK pounds. But on the website, there's a cross through it. And it says $179, which is 143 UK pounds. Uh, I don't think it was ever $269. I think it's always $179, but they give you that higher price to make you think you've had a discount. Even more so, in UK stores, you'll find these discounted down from that £143 to about £99. That's a big leap between 216 and 99 So how do I review the value for money? Um, it'd be really cheeky for me to value it at 216 but I'm making this point to you because I think it's shady. Uh, I'm, I'm valuing it, uh, reviewing it on value for money based on the 179 which they claim it is, which I think you can also beat which I still think is too high. I think £99 is too high for this, though, because I say this a lot about Lunas. I think the actual materials are pretty cheap. And uh, the finishing here, some scruffiness on the bridge, scruffiness on the fingerboard, skinny nut. Um, there's actually some scruffiness around some of the laminate on the top as well that I didn't mention, but it's a little bit untidy. Sharp fret ends. Um, and it's NATO wood. It's, it's plywood. It's not any form of decent mahogany. So it's all a bit misleading, and um, it looks like today is not going to be the day, based on the build and fit and finish. The core build is kind of all right. I don't like pretty much anything else on it. I'm trying to be trying to be objective. Uh, right, sorry. Before I play it, because of that pickup in it, it's a little bit heavier, 595 grams, and very slightly neck heavy because of that slot head i think if the pickup wasn't in it it would really dip down this way so it's off balance i think the neck is misset anyway um so it feels chunky to hold it's not like one of those lightweight concerts i've been looking at lately and to play it let's just get it up to pitch that's not an unpleasant sound you're hearing i don't think The volume. The volume's all right. It's not really punchy. Feels a bit subdued, feels a bit strangled. But the sustain, whilst not out of the park, is, is not bad. There, so I've heard much better, but it's not bad. Strummed though, oh sorry, what I will just say, despite that high action which is very uncomfortable to play, I'm not sensing any intonation issues. Probably because it's high at the nut and at the saddle, which has probably evened itself out. Very muffled, strummed. Quite a laminate, boxy, echoey tone. I expected that. Um, you hear my finger hitting it. That's because I'm really digging in, trying to get some volume out of it. But there isn't a lot of volume out of it. So strummed, it's not working for me. It's a bit laid back. Surprisingly, finger picking is quite pretty. hard to play at the nut. You bring the strumming back in and it disappears.
generic very very generic now people will say well look if you can get this for 99 quid that's all right isn't it 99 quid not a lot of money no it isn't um would you be making a mistake not really i guess but you can get instruments from kai snail uma enya for that money or less that sound much much better than this um, and don't hoodwink you on the product descriptions. So no, today is not that day. Luna, again, pretty generic, basic. I think this is expensive for what it is, actually. I think it's all about smoke and mirrors. Um, all about this. Ooh, expensive. Ooh. But actually, it's a very, very simple core instrument um, with some flaws to it. There's something wrong with this neck setup. Um... And because these don't go through specialist dealers very much, you're taking a gamble if you buy one. So no, it doesn't get a recommendation because there's other things out there I would give you a recommendation on at this sort of price. Do not be hoodwinked just by decoration. You might, look, I'm not making too much of that. You might really love it. Great, that's fine. And that, of course, doesn't affect tone or anything like that. That's purely about looks. But there are other things here which are not right, that are objectively not right. And it's not mahogany, it's a it's a NATO plywood instrument. Go and buy a snail, a kai, an uma, um, for less money, and you'll be more impressed with it than this one. The <laughs> Luna Uke Henna Dragon. It has a long convoluted product name. It is the Uke Hen Dra Ma C oh, whatever. Uh, laminate plywood instrument with this etching and a pickup. Uh, kind of looks like a good deal because of things like that, but I don't think it is actually. I think objectively it isn't. No recommendation from me again for Luna. Maybe next time. All right, okay. That's been fun to look at. I think I've probably gone a little bit easier on it than a lot of people thought I would. Uh, I don't want to take a ham hammer to it because it's not a howler. Uh, but thanks for watching all the same and your ongoing support. Have a wonderful week ahead. I'm back next weekend uh, with a brand I haven't looked at for years, actually. And they've been in touch. They've got a couple of new models, which is quite interesting. And they've arrived. So I'll be bringing you one of those, I think. Or maybe something else. I don't know. My diary's all over the place. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.